You don't actually believe a single word I'm saying, do you? Oh, sure, of course I believe you. Great. Just repeat the words I'm about to say, all right? Moon, prism, power, makeup. Right. Moon, prism, power, makeup. So I have really heavy cameras, like the Canon A1. So this is the Canon A1 program. Uh, I like to use them for like scenery. I don't really take pictures of people with these, but when I do go on vacation, I'd rather carry something a lot lighter because it's really hard to take it out of the bag and put it back in without breaking something because a lot of things have fallen off from that. So I usually just use a disposable. So I just want to give you guys maybe like three or four tips on how to use them because I've made plenty of mistakes with them even though these are supposed to be easier to use than the like the Canon A1 so let's start for the first tip that I have and the biggest mistake that I always make is I always accidentally leave my finger in front of the lens these cameras are so small that you just can't tell like when you're taking a picture when you want to like capture the moment like where your finger is so it'll always be like this and my finger will be in the picture when I get them developed and I get really upset because it could have been an amazing picture but yeah so yeah always keep it out it's really easy like even even like this it's not a disposable but it's like almost the same size and my finger is already over it when I want to like hold it comfortably and my hands are really small so you can't tell through this, but I promise you, they're really small. So yeah. So the second tip that I want to tell you guys is about the flash. So these have a built-in flash and I'm pretty sure the Fuji one does too. When you wanna use the flash, you have to hold it down for a while and wait for it to like fully glow up. It like blinks a little in the beginning and then it gets brighter and brighter. And when it's like really bright, then that means it's ready. Because sometimes, well at least for me, when I took pictures, I just like click on it and think like the flash was on and then it happened to be that it's not and the pictures wouldn't come out well. It'd just be really dark. So yeah. The third tip, is when to use the flash. You wanna use the flash every time you're inside, basically, unless there's a lot of natural sunlight because then your pictures won't show. Also, don't use the flash in the mirror because sometimes you'll only see the light in the picture, like the actual flash and everything around it will be really dark, so. A fourth tip that I usually do is that I always keep the next picture reeled after I take the picture because usually I want to take pictures really spontaneously, especially when I'm on a trip. So I just want to take it out and like not lose the moment and just shoot. So that's a good tip unless you're keeping it in like a bag where there's a lot of stuff and it could accidentally take the picture without you knowing, which is not good. I think, yeah, I think I only have three tips, so um, whoever asked for this video, there you go. Those are my tips. I can give advice on other cameras, but I think I need more experience with them before I tell you guys how to use them, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, happy shooting, and let me know if this helped you or if this was common sense because it should be common sense, but I just made these mistakes so many times. So yeah, good luck. Strange things are happening in this city. Even the police can't handle what's going on. A dangerous enemy has appeared. You're the only one who can defeat this enemy. You're the guardian that's been chosen for this mission.